Here we go, Pompey fans. This is Mike from the Pompey Podcast, and this is another summer special. This time we're looking at transfer rumours. As we all know, Pompey, massive rebuilding plans for the summer, recruiting a squad good enough to compete in the championship for next season. A lot of players left, a lot of players coming in. Let's get straight into it. These are the people I've seen bandied around and what my thoughts are on whether or not they're going to be in a Pompey shirt next season. So away we go. First up, we've got to get straight into this. And this is a name that is uh, being spoken about loads over the last week or so, a couple of weeks, in fact. He is it's pretty much official now that he's being let go from Newcastle. Now that they've not qualified for Europe next season. They, they uh, were talking about maybe keeping him on due to squad's depth, but now he is going to be off. Pompey boy, of course, from Gosport, grew up in Gosport. I was on Pompey's books up until 20, but obviously left for a pittance pretty much during those dark days. And he's been at Newcastle for eight years, as I mentioned. Now, here's the thing with Matt Ritchie. I, I love Matt Ritchie. I thought he was great for us. I think he's had a good, good career, very solid pro. A lot of talk around him being a very, very positive um, influence in and around the dressing room. However, his last contract was 44 grand a week at Newcastle, although he, I appreciate he's going to take a much bigger uh, cut out of that. I can't see it being big enough for us to be, even be interested, especially for a player I can't see is going to play week in, week out, even in the championship. 34 years of age, he'll be 35 during the next season. You know, he's previously said that he wants to come back to Pompey and all, all fair play to him. But I think realistically, that is something that's going to happen as a coach rather than a player. I don't think his profile fits what Massinio and Hughes are looking to, to grow at Portsmouth, bringing in young players who have resale value. Uh, I think we will get some more experienced players in next season, but I can't see us going for 34-year-old Matt Ritchie, if I'm honest with you, despite his flexibility and his great presence in the changing room. So uh, for me, Matt Ritchie, I think he'll be a no, and I also wouldn't be massively keen to see him back because it's just not one for me, unfortunately. On to another player who has been spoken about a lot recently, but not just in Pompey terms, there's a lot of players after this guy, Josh, Josh Murphy. Had a great day at Wembley, obviously taking Oxford up to the championship at Bolton's expense. He's reportedly on around about five grand a week and his contract is up at Oxford. But you know what? He's already spoken about the fact that he wants to stay. I think he's the sort of player that we need. He's a tricky white man, can play either, either wing as well. But despite his Wembley heroics, he only actually got uh, six goals last season, five assists. I think there will be a big clamour for his signature, but I think he will end up staying at Oxford. So for me, Josh Murphy is a no-go. Chris Con Clark. I've never even heard of this guy up until a few weeks ago, but suddenly everyone's going crazy about him. 22-year-old Northern Ireland lad currently playing for Altrincham. He scored a whole bag load of goals from centre midfield for Altrincham in the National League last year. I think it's 22 goals in 46 games, which isn't bad to return for a centre midfielder. He certainly fits the profile that Pompey look at. Plenty of potential. There's a lot of clubs who are talking about Chris Con Clark this season. It's a massive jump, obviously, from the National League to the championship but I think age on his side I think this is one that could well um, really be interesting Pompey at the moment I think we have the Northern Ireland contingent as well in our in our ranks that could well sway it for us I think Chris Con Clark is going to be a deal that's going to happen whether he's going to play a lot of minutes in the championship next season if it does get over the line we'll wait to see but I think Chris Con Clark will be a Pompey player next season this was one that was doing the rounds early doors, really, pretty much straight after the season finished. And I saw a couple of sources that actually said this was a done deal. Nothing really over the last couple of weeks about Anthony Evans, the 25-year-old uh, Bristol Rovers player. He is still contracted to Bristol Rovers, has one year left on his contract. So there will be a fee transfer market value him around about 600 grand. But with one year left in his, on his contract, that will, that will really be up for negotiation. I suppose it all depends on you know, how much uh, Bristol Rovers really want him for next season and whether they're prepared to risk him leaving on a free at the end of next season. Centre midfield is definitely an area we need to improve, even if Morrell does re-sign and Pack, because that's still up in the air at the moment, whether Pack's definitely signing or not. I think he will, but a little bit up in the air. But centre midfield is definitely somewhere 
we need to strengthen. And I think this guy will strengthen it for us. Six goals, six assists last year. Can play centre midfield or centre attacking mid. And in those six goals was one of the goals that beat Pompey on Boxing Day last year in one of our only five defeats of last season. So he's a big lad. I think he's a big, strong centre midfielder. Kind of can get forward. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of smoke around this guy and I think this is one that's going to happen so I wouldn't be surprised if we did see Anthony Evans in a Pompey shirt next season. Next up I've seen this one rumoured recently and it was almost also rumoured a couple of years ago as well. Uh, Mikael Miller he's currently at Plymouth out of contract on around about six grand a week so wages are not really a massive issue I don't think at uh, championship level. He's he's a winger Predominantly left-sided, can play wing-back as well. Uh, originally linked with Pompey back in 2022 when he left Rotherham, went to uh, Plymouth instead. As I say, didn't play a huge amount for them last year, uh, or certainly didn't start for them a huge amount. A lot of injuries has been his issue. I've seen some one person say, if you can keep him fit, then he's a great signing. Do we want to take a risk with someone like that, especially after the injuries we had last season? You look at the likes of uh, Scully, obviously, constantly injured. And then we had the the big injuries with uh, with Paul Swanson, Morell, and Robertson uh, all uh, having a long time out injured. We really don't want someone who's got a bit of a checkered injury record on our books. So Mikel Miller, I think, is going to be a no go for Pompey. And last but not least, not many of you might have heard of this guy, guy Othmane Bassed of uh, FC Utrecht. He he's 24 years old. He is a tricky little winger, and he is he is quite a small fellow, about five foot five. He's been at Utrecht six years. He is an absolute uh, um, fireball of a winger. Again, can play left or right, um, but can also play as an attacking midfielder as well. Has over a hundred games in the in the Dutch top division. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce how you say the Dutch top division because I would guarantee I'll get it wrong. Um, he's reportedly on less than two grand a week at Utrecht as well. So he'll be well within our budget and we'll probably actually get a healthy pay rise if he was to join us. This is we, we it's well reported we're after wide players, midfielders, without a doubt. We need to strengthen that area. And the fact he does have a lot of top um, level Dutch experience. He's a Belgian slash Moroccan national. I actually think this is a very dark horse and I really do think this could be a goer of main Busset. So there you have it. What do you think of those? Would you take any of those? A lot of people were talking about, obviously, Richie, as I said at the top, and Murphy. Which of those do you think will get over the line? We've got Richie, Murphy, Chris Con clark Anthony Evans, Mikhail Miller, Othmane Busset. Who would you add into the mix? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you uh, agree with my assessment or do you uh, think there's other people in there yourselves? Don't forget, like the Pompey Pod, hit the bell to get notified every time we have a new video out. And subscribe, of course, subscribe. Why not? Now, there'll be more transfer rumours throughout the summer from the Pompey Pod, so there'll be similar ones coming up. But also coming up is the Pompey Pod at the Euros. We will be back. I'll be back with Dan, and we will be chatting the Euros as of next week. So keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, Goodbye.